Coach, great to have you on BYU Sports Nation. And for those that, I mean, if, if you missed our interview uh, with other Texas coaches that we've spoken with, everyone waxes on about, you know, how special it is to be in Austin. You have a unique situation. Um, you take over for Coach Beard, and you do a fantastic job leading that team deep into the NCAA tournament. But has has the reality of being the head coach of Texas fully set in on you now? Well, I think it's every day for myself. You know, I'm, I'm still living a dream, you know. And uh, I remember taking my mom uh, this this uh, this summer uh, on a birthday to dinner, and she's like, can you believe you're the head coach of Texas? You're the head coach. And uh, I said, you're right, Mom. I am the head coach, you know. Uh, but, uh, but no, it's it, every day it's, it's been a dream. In 1990, when you graduated from St. Edward's in Austin, you're like, yeah, yeah, eventually I make it across the street. <laughs> well, yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, you know, you could always follow those guys, and a lot of times we play pickup with those guys and everything too, as well and stuff. You know, so you know, I was always a big fan of of, of obviously a uh, uh, Texas, and uh, um, you know, got a chance uh, to work with Rick Barnes for nine years on on staff there as well and stuff. So you know, um, Texas through and through. What did it mean to to you to see your players embrace you and this program embrace you in that situation, and then? come together like that like how did you view that whole thing oh man you know I, so much as relationships you know and, and the time you put in with guys uh away from basketball um you know you're, you're going to lunch with them you're taking the dinner you have them over at your home you know and uh um you know so you can hold them accountable on the court a lot of times you see man how the coaches hold you know just so demanding of the of the youngsters on the floor but they don't they realize the time that you you spend with them all the time and stuff but you know they become a part of your family you know and and uh, not just for the time that they're playing for you but the rest of your life you know and uh those guys you know i love them uh you know outside of basketball and i, I think the love spread over on the court as well You've coached at a bunch of places, notably Fresno State, right after Steve Cleveland. Uh, you got to know Steve a little bit. I did. Steve's a great man. You know, he, uh, uh, again, um, you know, he really helped me uh, as I embarked on my journey there at Fresno State. You get kind of getting the lay of the land and, and uh, just kind of giving me all the ins and outs of uh, of the program and stuff. But uh, he closely followed what we were doing, and even as we started really winning at a high level, he stayed in close contact as well. We all know Texas is – a football haven, okay? But to your credit, the Texas basketball programs on both the men's and women's sides have been unbelievable. So what's it like to – how would you explain the atmosphere of Texas basketball in a community that is so naturally geared towards football? Well, again, I think, uh, you know, sometimes people say it's, say we're a little arrogant at times, but we, we feel like we're elite at everything we do on, on our campus. We have elite coaches. We have elite programs. Every program on our campus has a chance to win a national championship, um, you know, and stuff. And I think we're all poor for one another to win national championships. And, uh, um, you know, we're pulling really hard right now for our football program to win a national championship. You know, volleyball's done it, you know. But, uh, uh, again, um, you know, basketball i've been there it's been my 12th year in texas the only thing i've i haven't been a part of is winning a national championship we've gone to final four we've gone to you know several you know elite eights and uh we've actually had a chance to be a part of you know big 12 championships as well in my tenure here but uh, uh the one you know elusive thing for us is to to win the whole thing You'll find no bigger fans of Steve Sarkeesian than uh, BYU fans. Uh, <laughs> BYU legendary BYU. quarterback. We love, we love, we love Sark, Sark, right? No yeah. doubt about it. He's the we, best. We share that love, right? And then Texas Tech, it's Mike Leach, who uh, undergrad at BYU. So there's been these Big 12 connections maybe that we didn't see before, but now BYU's coming into this league, and obviously we look at Ken Palm and we go, oh, my gosh, how are we going to navigate this league? What is it going to be like this year, in your opinion? Because it's not just new for BYU. It's new for you guys to have four new teams. And then next year we'll go, oh, we're not the new guys. You four from the Pac-12 are the new guys. Well, I spent seven years out on the West Coast, so I'm very familiar with BYU basketball. And I, and I know how, how strong a program BYU basketball has been over the years, you know. And, uh, and Mark's doing a tremendous job, job right now uh, currently as well, you know. And uh, uh, we know how hard it is to go up and win at BYU. Difficult place to play, 20,000 people in the stands uh, and everything as well. But but this league, again, last year, ought to be the best league in the country. Um, you know, I don't look for a drop-off at all, you know, with the addition of, this, uh, of the schools that we have coming into into the Big 12. You know, it's going to be, you know, I think, again, the best basketball league again in country, in, uh, country still because of the coaches, the venues we have to play in, and, and, the, and the players that we have in this, in this league. Night in and night out, you have to bring your A game, whether you're at home, you're on the road, 
you know, you you have to play at a high level. Does the final year in the Big 12 carry any measure of extra significance for you before you go off to another really good basketball conference in the SEC? Well, you know, I, I, for my myself personally, I, I mean, I've, I was at the I was coaching at Baylor the first year of the Big 12. Were you really? And uh, you know, that's when Kansas had, you know, uh, man, they were loaded at Jock Vaughn and LaFrance. That was a crazy team there that didn't win a national championship. But but the uh, the Big 12 every year, you know, it's my. Uh, what uh, 13th year part of the Big 12? I mean, it's it's always been a great basketball conference, you know. And uh, I know for us at the University of Texas, you know, we're embracing the last year uh, of being here and you know living where our feet are. And we're excited about competing in a in in a, in a league that uh, again has the has the chance to be the top in the country. Man, Rafe LaFrance and Jock Vaughn, that's a throwback. Oh I man, heard Pollard, you got yes. Paul Pierce. I mean, Roy Roy was loaded. That was, Roy, a, that was a loaded team. Roy was cooking. Yeah, uh, uh, Kansas is always cooking. Um, but you guys are cooking too. Uh, preseason number three. What do you do with that information? Well, I think again, uh, you know, obviously, you know, it brings good exposure to your program. Um, you know, level of respect. But at the end of the day, you know, like I tell our guys, you know, you gotta, you gotta earn your right. Uh, to to be a part of the NCAA tournament, you know. I no thought one. you were going to quote the Beastie Boys. Right yeah, no, yeah, you got to earn your right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to earn your right to be a part a yes. part of the party. There you yes. go. You, you, right. you have to earn your right. No one's given. You know, just you're just going to be in the NCAA tournament. Every game we have on our schedule schedule is an NCAA tournament game. So, um, you know, again. Um, we're just excited about the opportunity. And it's fight for your right. you got to yeah. fight, fight for your yeah, right. We're right close enough. We're, we're close. We're but you got to earn. you got to fight. you got to get it. <laughs> there are parallels. you got to fight for your right to party after you hope right. you're trying to win a national I championship. That's, right. that's when the party happens. And exactly win this right. Big 12 tournament, which we're so excited to come to for the first time in March. We we heard it's as good of a tournament as there is in the country. Yeah, what is the it best like? One, right? Well, it's, I, I think arguably the best in the country. I mean, uh, you know, when you look at attendance, you look at where it's at, uh, you know, it's uh, it's probably one of the most attended, you know, tournaments in the country. But but the level of play, I mean, every night who you're playing in the tournament, man, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's high level. And, uh, yeah, we have great basketball fans in this league uh, as well. And, uh, you know, obviously we're here in Kansas City. It, you know, Kansas gets a chance to have a have a little bit of a leg up on that if they're in the championship game. You know, so you got to deal with that monster a little bit too as well. But but that makes it exciting. It's, it's a lot of fun, and I know uh, in years past we we've, we've loved playing here and playing in this building. I appreciate the honesty right there. Because, yeah. <laughs> B, because BYU played in the Mountain West Conference tournament in UNLV's gym and oh, lost yeah. a couple times to UNLV, and we were like, I know, I know, Tarkanian out there biting any towels or anything, but like this is tough. And yeah, Kansas, Kansas. Oh no, Kansas absolutely. I mean, we, up here. we played Kansas in my in my tenure at Texas uh, three other times in the championship game, aside uh, aside from last year. And and, and so beat him, by the way. we we won the game last year. You we had to him? get that monkey off our back a little bit. And we're like, man, <laughs> Coach Terry said to get that monkey off his back. But but no, they beat us three other times, you know. And uh, and they had really good teams. And, and obviously, Bill's a great coach. Uh, but uh, but this tournament's special, it, and it's a special place. Uh, and in the Big 12, they do a great job running this tournament. Coach, when you look at your team coming off just a great, another, a great season, and a season where you beat Kansas in the Big 12 championship game, and, and you get that monkey off the back, and you're so close to a Final Four, what what's the next step for this program to take that next step in tournament play and, and get to another Final Four in that national championship? Well, again, I think we have a level. We're, we're, we're hungry to want to try to do that. I mean, with the one thing we hadn't been able to do at the University of Texas is win a national championship in basketball. And, uh, and I tell our guys every day that uh, the team that does that is going to be a, re- a team that's revered and they'll never pay for a meal in Austin again. Uh, but, but you know, you're going to have to just, again, be a team that's, uh, that plays really hard every night. Obviously, you, you have to have a very connected group that's very unselfish. And uh, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. You're talking about being rare. You know, and uh, rare teams, man, you uh, you really have to really be bought in, uh, in in every facet of your life in terms of having an opportunity to win a national championship. Got to light that tower, right? That's right. That's no a, doubt about it. That's, that's, that's the number deal. one goal. That's a huge deal for us. And then not paying for a meal. Now in the NIL era, that's actually a possibility. <laughs> Before it was like, whoa, 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 what? That's now right. it's a possibility. That's right. You Torchy's Tacos guy? Uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. Our guys love torches, so they're they're big on the torches. I like, I like torches. Yeah, yeah, torches is good. I mean, you I got mean, other spots? You know what? Uh, I love the Tex Mex. I mean, we've got oh, Tex Mex. Yeah, we got great Tex Mex. Wait, Austin. what's the name of the restaurant? Because I'm going to be there. Mod- Mottie's. I'm coming down for the football game. Mottie's. 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 I'm going to make Mottie's. Town Lake. Go to the one on Town Lake. 
you know, and, uh, you know, great location. Yeah. And uh, But, yeah, the best, Tex-Mex. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Let's uh, go. Coach, great to talk with you. We appreciate the insight into Texas basketball and look forward to, uh, let's see, January 27th in Provo. Man, we got to go. We got to come to Provo. I wish we were in Austin, but we got to go to go to Provo. But it's going to be great. We're going to be excited about it. Great venue to play in, and uh, Mark's doing an, uh, an incredible job. You know what it's going to be that night? A party! <laughs> let's go, baby. <laughs> a fight for the right, though. Thanks, That's right. right. That's Thanks, right. Coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks.